Stoltz. I'm the cinematic director here at Big Huge Games. Cinematics have changed over the years. It used to be you would get your opening cinematic and your ending cinematic, and you'd get a couple other ones in the middle with a game. That's changed now that, that we do a lot more runtime stuff. What is a cinematic? Is it the little mini vignette that you get for two seconds when you break away to a character? Is it, is it a boss battle scene that you get? You know, there's, that, that of what a cinematic is has changed a lot over the, over the years. But generally, I, I try to think of it as we do the things that the gameplay can't do. We tell the story elements that you can't do in the mechanics of, in the engine of the game. From the beginning, we were wrong. It starts with a script. And, and, and a lot of our script supports a main quest that you do in the game. So obviously they had to work out what the main quest and all the, main, all the elements of the main quest. And then they determine, well, what's going to be a cinematic, what's not going to be a cinematic. What can we do in the game, what can't we do in the game. We take that script and we block it out into an animatic, which is really just a rough example of what the movie looks like. And you can see here, this is, this is our opening sequence where we have two gnomes that wheel your character's body down a hallway. And really, I mean, the character models aren't even really the final models at all. It's just a max biped. But we get an idea of what our shots are going to be, uh, what the timing's going to be like, what, and even a rough action what the characters are going to do. And so we'll take these shots and we'll go into the motion capture studio. And this time we went to EA Vancouver to do our motion capture sessions. And uh, we, would, we would get actors, or in, in some cases, if it's a fight scene, stunt performers. And we will have them act out their actions. If they're talking, we'll have them talk as we're playing the video. And they get their timing from the, from the animatic video. So that way, when we go into shoot, all our timing is already worked out in the motion capture studio. So when we bring that footage back here, it's much easier to time out. What do you think this one is then? Alpha? Bolani? Could even be a Jotun? Always a surprise, eh, Gran? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. The biggest challenge, I think, and some of the challenges we had on this project, and more than others, is space. What space does the scene actually happen in? Because when you shoot it in a studio, it's just a studio. It's a bunch of blank walls. But when you put it into an actual physical environment that our people are building, then, you know, guys might walk into walls, cameras might bump into walls, there might be objects there. And, and the thing you have to remember is, cinematics aren't, we're not making movies, we're making games, and so the movies have to support the game. Out of, the, out of the visionaries, I probably worked with Ken Ralston the most. Um, and we, we really hadn't talked, he doesn't sit down with me and say, I want you to do this shot or try this. We kind of talk about the characters, talk about their experiences. And in, in most games, you're, you're, you're concentrating on the main character. But in this case, you create your main character. So we don't have a, we don't have a voice for the character. We don't even know what the face is going to be like. So you have to sort of back away from that main guy and sort of concentrate on the world around and the other characters that he interacts with and try to put emphasis onto them. If you were shooting a movie, how would you make this character more interesting if he's a bad guy? Well, maybe I'll lower the camera more. Maybe I'll widen the lens. But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all singular among his people he was I have a lot of favorite pieces the first one would be in this sequence where the gnomes are taking your body and they're dumping it into a hole in the in the wall here kind of discarding your body you're already dead and they're like well let's get rid of that one then we go to black and you have this moment where you just hear sound effects and we fade up to the character and as it pulls out, you start revealing more information as the camera pulls out, and we realize, oh my god, we're surrounded by bodies. And that whole pulling, that whole of the viewer putting pieces together of this scene, and then they realize, ah, wait, we're on top of a, where, where, why are we, all these bodies around us? And then we break out to the wide shot, and we see we're on a whole pile of bodies. And, and that, that, to me, is interesting, because the scene builds just from the face itself, and as a viewer, you're starting to watch elements of that come together.
When you work on a lot of licensed titles, things are sort of locked. You, you have your certain set story, characters act a certain way, and, and you can certainly be creative, but it, it's, it's, it's far different than when you work on, on, on a brand new IP, and you know, the, the door's open for what you want to do creatively. There's a lot of personal ownership and a lot of the different elements and the different facets of this game that you don't always get on a, on a, on a video game. It had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. When I, I shoot a movie or I work on a movie, you go, into the, you go into the theater and they have a premiere and everyone stands around and they clap and you actually get to see people react to the work you do. In this business, you don't really get to do that. You get to see the game on a on the store shelf and that's kind of your reward I, and, and that's it so you you kind of hope imagine while you're playing it that people are going to interact the way you do perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide what force might if, awaken if the cinematic plays well enough they're going to grab that control and want to play the game and that's probably our ultimate goal and at that point, when we can do that, when we can get the audience to stop realizing they're watching a cinematic, then we got them at that point. That, that's, that's the time that we really are bringing entertainment to people, and that's, that's really what it's about.